This is a follow-up to my recent video on how some councils have adopted painting unbroken yellow lines on the road to indicate no stopping for drivers. However, what can councils do when drivers ignore those painted yellow lines and decide to stop or park there anyway? I'm going to use the Burke Street Bakery as an example to illustrate the next level of escalation in the war against bad parking habits. No, I'm not talking about the Burke Street Bakery in Burke Street. I'm talking about the Offshoot Bakery in Balmain. Every now and then I like to venture over there for a sausage roll because I am yet to find a better sausage roll in Sydney. If you want to suggest another bakery, post it in the comments and I might try it out one day. I visited the Balmain outlet a few times in 2020 and every time I was there feeding my face with a sausage roll or two, a driver rolled up and parked in the no stopping zone on the corner. See how my bike is leaning up against a no stopping sign? In this photo, you can see how there is a laneway off to the side and there are no stopping signs either side of the laneway so that drivers coming out of the laneway can do so safely. For some reason, the no stopping zone nearest the bakery was always occupied by a big black Mercedes when I was there. Do Mercedes drivers think they're entitled to park wherever they like? Or do they think that the black colour makes them invisible to council parking ranges? Anyway, I guess the Inner West Council got sick of those Mercedes drivers parking there all the time because on my most recent visit, those no standing zones had been built out with concrete islands on both sides of the laneway. Sure, if you own a Mercedes four-wheel drive, you could always drive over that curb and park on top of the plants, and I'm sure someone will do that every now and then. However, it should deter most drivers from stopping there. I find it really frustrating that councils have to spend our money building this sort of stuff because some drivers think they are special and they can stop wherever they like. A no stopping sign or a strip of yellow paint on the road is pretty cheap compared with digging up the road and curb to install a concrete island. It's our rates and taxes that have been spent on this stuff to stop a small percentage of the population from behaving badly. If people didn't park like idiots, maybe our council rates would be a little bit lower. The other thing to notice is that between the new islands, the Inner West Council has built up the road so there is now a continuous footpath from one side of the road to the other. This is the sort of infrastructure that promotes walking around a shopping precinct and it's conspicuously accent, uh, absent from the recently re re released PAMP or Pedestrian Access Management Plan that's been published by Canada Bay Council for public comment. I'll have some more details on that in a later video.